Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. It is a good morning viewers that we are sharing the word of God on this platform. I believe that you continue to be blessed every time you tune in. And we count it a blessing that you have counted this channel a source of inspiration. And I pray that today as you touch base with us, indeed God will walk with you. My name is Reverend Elpas Buire. I will be sharing with you uh, a devotion. And um, I want to read from the book of Ezekiel chapter 22. Ezekiel chapter 22. And uh, I'm challenging you to live for a reason. A reason for our living. Our reason for our living is our sharing this morning. I know many of you wonder whether God knows that you exist and whether God knows that you exist and you are valuable. And maybe you gauge yourself again at the backdrop of what people have said or what you've gone through, through the life challenges or the many times you have lived. And so Ezekiel chapter 22, prophet Ezekiel speaks some words from verse 29 that I want to share with us as we go to our workplaces. And I believe that this is going to uh, encourage you and inspire you from verse 29 of Ezekiel chapter 22 the Bible says this as silver is melted in furnace so you will be melted inside um, huh? and you know that the Lord has poured out a wrath on you again the word of God came to me son of man Okay, I wanted to read verse 29 not that 22 verse 29 allow me just jump there um, but chapter 22 verse 29 the people of the land practice exhortation and commit robbery they oppress the poor and the needy and ill treat the foreigner denying them justice verse 30 I look for someone among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so that I would not how to destroy it but I found none or I found no one. The reason for our living. How comes God, a creator of everything, a creator of everyone would look among nations we look among all that are living and even us that are in this place and yet find no one. Every person lives for a cause and God expects all of us to know that cause because if God created us and when God created us he expects to have the, 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 the engineers you expect to see pastors you expect to see people that are able to lead people for justice because God brought us as his people to serve him, to represent him because we are made in his image so when he comes and he finds that there are a lot of evil things that are happening he's looking around and finding no one, are we living for our cause if many of us are wherever we work, indeed we live and we think it is no more and usual to live the way we are living and things are happening the way they are happening and we are comfortable, God is actually challenging us this morning. We exist for a reason. I shared last time, uh, it was not in this place, in one of the forum of our leaders, and they said, none of us exist in our teams of leadership just to fill a space. If they wanted a seven-man team and you are there, the seventh person, you are not just filling a space, you are there for a reason. You are there to be able to represent God, to see justice, to see justice, to find things that are evil. In the name of Jesus, I pray this morning as you go to your workplace, ask yourself, why do I exist in this organization? Why do I exist in this church? Do I just go there to fill the city number 500? Do I just sit in, this in every place to contribute to my own or something else? God is looking for someone. There is a reason that God has called you. There is a reason why you exist. There is a reason why you were born. In the name of Jesus, I pray this morning, you may understand where you live. Even as a pastor, I must know my duty. I must know my role. The Bible says two are better than one. Okay? So if you find that you are the second person in the company of the other, you are two. Yours is not just to be able to say, this is the greatest shareholder. You are there to contribute. 
to that particular company, to that particular shareholding, in that family, to that company, to that church, to that team or board of directors. Don't think there are people with great ideas. Your voice is needed. Your prayers are needed. Your action is needed. Your fighting of injustice is needed. So God is looking in this particular passage. He's finding no one. And yet injustice is happening. These are so many people without knowing why they are living. There's a reason for our existence. There is a reason why we are counted in this place. There is a reason why you exist in this nation. There is a reason why you count and why you are alive. May you know that reason. Because that reason will know God. Will make God to count you. Otherwise, he will seek and you find none. And therefore, will count you as a person that did not know why you existed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you this morning. I pray that this is not going to be rhetoric where we count ourselves. So many Kenyans, over 40 million. And yet, Lord, we have few that are leading this nation and many of us are comfortable. You are calling Christians to be advocates. Advocates in their workplace. Advocate for injustices. Advocate for things that matter in your kingdom. Even in our churches. That Lord, we will arise and do the work which you've called us to do. And I pray that you open up our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears and our spiritual inner beings to wake up to this realization of God. That we may do your work, that we may serve you, and we may walk with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.